Oh man, this is crazy. Yes, right. What's up? All right. What is going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? We have some insane news today. A couple of dope, dope, dope Nintendo Switch news items. But before we get started, as always, give the video a huge like. Let's get over 200 likes for this video. Let's get right to the first news item. This is insane. What if I told you? Nintendo is planning to release another Switch Lite iteration, this time 5G internet on the go, wherever you want. I'm going to share this um, news information. I'm going to share my thoughts on what I think Nintendo might be cooking up their sleeves for this new rumored late Switch model. Now, this is coming from... 4chan and was on reddit now here's the scary thing 4chan and reddit has been spot on numerous times so with any rumor every leak grain of salt no say just sprinkle that salt all right they're saying that a former nintendo employee is leaking of this next Nintendo Switch hardware refresh. So this could be in conjunction with the Switch Pro. Nintendo done this before. They release the Game Boy Advance and they come out with a Game Boy Pocket, um, a smaller, less powerful of the last gen console. So they've done this. So we can still get the Switch Pro and then they release a Switch Lite 4G model in addition to that. It is a Switch Lite that supports cellular networks and a slightly bigger screen. So Switch Lite with a slightly bigger screen. It's tentatively named Nintendo Switch Lite 5G. And he's saying that this is likely the final name. Supports 5G and 4G LTE networks in addition to Wi-Fi. It uses the Qualcomm Snapdragon modem. All right, 10 to 20% bigger screen size over the current switch light which is always good check this out planned for a spring 2023 release in the u.s canada uk japan australia at a 250 dollar um, price point and the partnerships will be with at&t t-mobile and Verizon so you I think you have to have one of those three um, providers now my opinion this seems like this this is something that Nintendo would possibly do now if they do this before announcing a switch pro internet's gonna go crazy the internet <laughs> is gonna rage <laughs> this is a good announcement after you announce a more powerful switch because most people be like okay this is just in addition to the nintendo switch family yada 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 i really don't care too much for this this is what i'm really thinking i'm gonna wait till kuizuma show that switch light a nintendo switch phone i think this could have um some, there's more to this than what's being leaked Nintendo always keeps something surprising close to their chest. The Switch Lite, I think, will have some kind of capability where you can use it. It'll double as a phone. If Nintendo does that, it's going to sell out the stratosphere. It's going to be the best. So this right here. Look at this, bro. This... If you add some kind of phone functionality to this, this is going to sell like 
hotcakes. And so a new Switch Lite 5G model is being leaked. It's already the size of the iPhone Plus um, um, phones. And so they, they changed the form factor a little. I think the form factor will be a little different. Possibly the same. They could probably have the buttons. You know how instead of having the sticks um, protruding out of the console, do have the sticks on a slider similar to the 3DS? do that for just specifically for this model a phone model a phone version of the switch is gonna sell like crazy trust me all right bro but the news is just getting started oh my goodness we're having another nintendo presentation august 3rd it's going down in two days on wednesday a pokemon presents has been announced on the official Pokemon Twitter account. It says, attention trainers, tune in to our YouTube channel on Wednesday, August 3rd at 9 a.m. East Coast. We're on the East Coast for a Pokemon Presents video presentation with updates on Pokemon apps and video games, including Pokemon Scarlet Violet. If I'm up, I'm most likely be up. I'm going to try to live stream this presentation. Let's get hype. Let's get hype for that Pokemon Scarlet Violet it has multiplayer. I will be playing this with the sponsors. Uh, we, we're going to try to beat this game together. Hey, the sponsors hooked me up last time where I had all three starters. They traded me the other two starters that I didn't pick. I need somebody to hook me up to where I can have all three starters in my lineup. We're going to be lit. Pokemon Scarlet Violet. Let's go. I'll drop my headphones. All right. So a new presentation, August 3rd. Um, next news item. This is great news for Xenoblade Chronicles 3 fans. I'm trying to fix my app. Oh, no. Oh, whatever. All right. Here is the news item, bro. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is now the number one best-selling game on the Switch. That's right, the game has shot straight to number one after its launch day on the eShop charts, and it's well-deserved. A quality, quality, well-made game. I'm still um, um, playing through Live or Live. I'm trying to beat that first. But as soon as I beat Live or Live... The next game will be Xenoblade Chronicles uh, 3. I've already started the game, but I wanna, um, I'm not going to try to play, beat two games at the same time. So let's beat um, Live Alive, Live a Live, and then Xenoblade Chronicles 3 will be the next game on the agenda, boy. So it's good to see that the game is selling well. Hopefully this becomes the best-selling game in the franchise and it becomes more mainstream. It's still, I still consider it niche. Just J, most JRPG, JRPG games are niche in, in the niche market. So, uh, kudos, kudos. This is Nintendo's role-playing game. Nintendo's first-party role-playing game. Dope, dope, dope game. And speaking of Xenoblade, new Xenoblade Chronicles 3 icons are available for Switch Online members. You can trade in your platinum points, update your icon. That's dope, that's dope, that's dope. The next news item, Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope, an all new Ubisoft has uploaded on their official YouTube channel, a six minute video of gameplay footage and just information on the game, which is dope. Another day one buy on the Switch. Nintendo's killing it in 20. 22 and last but not least have you been anxiously anticipating steve and alex amiibos well today's your lucky day uh steve and alex amiibos have been announced for september 9th the same day splatoon 3 launches hmm. nintendo why all right <laughs> those are the news items for this video what do you guys think about everything we talked about sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. The homie Erica, RIP in the outro. This channel that I'm about to throw out there for you guys reminds me of me back when I had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers, man. And um, he's probably going to lose shit when I do this, but hey, man, 
I gotta say, my boy Ob1, my boy Ob1, man, that nigga is my nigga right there. He reminds me exactly of me when I was doing this shit on a smaller level. His channel, when I look at it, it's such a nostalgia trip. And he has a really cool audience too. Man, if you could show this nigga some love too, that'd be awesome. I don't shout people out unless I like them. A lot. A lot. I'm picky with that. But, um, anyways, my boy Obi One. Your boy Obi One. Hey man, I got you right here, my boy. Give that man a little bit of a look, man. He reminds me of me when I was smaller. You want to take a look in the past, my boy? This is the way you do it. I got you, Jedi homie. Master the right Jedi Master. master. <laughs> I got you, man. You're playing two towns. Thank you. I got Obi -Wan, you, man, homie. I'm dedicating a workout set to you, my boy. Let's go, man. <laughs> 26, 27, 28. Ah, he said, hey, no, Dad. 